there is a greater acceptance among all G20 members that any action on crypto assets will have to be global. Crypto assets being somewhat um, in the terrain of yet to be regulated, but the consciousness that crypto assets, particularly those which are outside of the central bank, being not backed by any sovereign asset, can themselves ca cause macroeconomic instability. I am gr glad to say there is a greater acceptance among all G20 members that any action on crypto assets will have to be global. And therefore, that's, I think, one of the biggest uh, advantage uh, that the G20 and its members agree that it's not going to be possible uh, to have an independent, standalone country dealing with the, G, uh, with the crypto assets, and that it has to have a globally coordinated um, some kind of a understanding on how to be how to uh, go about regulating crypto assets. Uh, the the way in which we are seeing this uh, pan out during our presidency is that IMF's paper is being discussed, FSB's paper also will be taken up, synthesis paper will be prepared between the IMF paper and the FSB's paper, both put together. Um, also a discussion will happen in September, October. End of the day, we um, see a roadmap being readied on how and what kind of understanding the members of G20 have in this, and it can be taken further forward on specific actions of regulation uh, as and when the G20 takes a call on it. I don't want to preempt the decision, obviously I cannot, uh, the decision which the Council will take, but good work by FSB, good work by IMF, also indicating the direction of just not crypto assets being somewhat um, in the terrain of yet to be regulated, but the consciousness that crypto assets, particularly those which are outside of the central bank, being not backed by any sovereign asset, can themselves call cause macroeconomic instability. So today we are at a position to see how countries are now recognizing that it is not just a crypto asset regulation, regulatory issue where countries will have to come together, but the IMF dealing with it has also brought in this dimension that they cannot, that there can be issues of macroeconomic stability itself. And today I'm very glad to have heard um, the European Central Bank Chief, Christine Lagarde, speak about examples, specific example of how money have been routed into this operation, resulting in too many such companies who are getting involved in it, r raising questions of where the trail is. So uh, it was very uh, substantive discussion and the agreement that all of them had was this, yes, it has got to be globally handled.